Hello, my name is Chris Morgan and I'm technical director of the OpenShift partner ecosystem. What I wanted to demonstrate for everyone is some of the early work we've been doing with our collaboration with Amazon. Um, the first thing we want to do is actually show you this nice, beautiful new console we have that demonstrates not only Amazon services, but all OpenShift services now. What we want to do next is go ahead and actually deploy a sample application within this new environment. Uh, we're going to select Python, and then from here we're going to enter an application name. And then I want to enter my source code repository. Now, for longtime OpenShift users, you'll notice that I'm, I'm not really doing anything different. We're just have a much cleaner, nicer GUI to kind of drive the workflow as we go along. And get that done, hit create. Now, as this is a, a stateful application, and you know, we want to kind of show off our new integration, I want to add one of our new Amazon Web Services uh, as a back end to this. To, to demonstrate, we're going to add an Amazon RDS PostgreSQL database. I'm going to select my plan, in this case, Dev and Test. Now, before we do this, I'd like to prove that this is a, a live demonstration. So we're going to come back over and log into our Amazon RDS console. And we're going to take a look and see that we actually don't have a database provision yet. We'll go to Instances and take a look and, and there you can see we're waiting. So coming back, it's going to complete our um, provisioning of a, a new service. We enter some of the defaults and we're all set. Now when we take a look at this in our project, you can see we have a, a front end that we've already deployed and our back end. So let's take a look at the app. And when we look at the app now in its current state, it's not very interesting. It's just a, an empty map with, with no data. Now, it takes a little bit of time to provision this database, which we should have here now. Yes, there we go. So you can see we're, we're creating our database. And, and as I said, this takes about six to eight minutes to provision, give or take. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little break in the demonstration, and we're going to come right back and pick up where we left off. So welcome back. Our application backend service at Amazon should be deployed, and as you can see, we we do have one available now. And it, it did, you know, it took a few minutes, um, as as we mentioned. And so now let's come back to the console and do the fun stuff. What we want to do is actually bind our newly created database service to another front end service or application in this case. And so it's as simple as selecting the application to bind to, and hitting a button waiting a few seconds and there we go we're all linked up now so what you'll also notice is because it was a configuration change any services that were affected are automatically redeployed in this case our our front-end service of the application so now if we go back and take a look at our application opening up URL again. I guess I, I could hit fresh on the existing tab. Um, let's see. Let's wait here. And there we go. As you can see, we actually have data now within our application. So I hope you've enjoyed this taste of some of the work that we've started with Amazon as part of this collaboration. If you'd like to get involved with the community, go check out the URL that you see at the bottom of the screen. Thanks a lot, and until next time.